This week on Canada in the Rough, we're whitetail hunting in Ontario. The Beasleys are hunting the late deer season with Phil Lambert of Valley Guiding and Outfitting in the big woods of the Ottawa Valley. Join us for some great whitetail action this week on Canada in the Rough. After a two hour drive northeast from the office, Paul arrived at camp and met up with the outfitter, Phil Lambert. Phil runs Valley Guiding and Outfitting, located in the Ottawa Valley. Paul would be spending the week in one of his several remote cabins, located on a private plot of land deep in the timber. Only a few hours drive from major cities like Toronto, Ottawa and Montreal, Phil's operation is perfect for those looking for a quick and convenient getaway while still having a chance at a big Ontario buck. All right, it's game time here at Valley Guiding and Outfitting. I'm very excited to be out here in this part of Eastern Ontario. This is big woods country. As you can see, the winter's come. Blanket of snow, it's cold weather. Everything we should need for a good week of deer hunting. Let's go. Later in the evening, Paul spotted a young seven-point buck walking into the clearing from downwind. The cautious youngster stayed back behind some spruce trees until dark, clearly concerned by Paul's scent. Although the shooters in the area didn't show themselves, Paul was still excited to see multiple bucks on the first night. The next morning, the wind had changed and it was no longer ideal for Paul's setup. So instead of hunting, Paul joined Phil to set up a game camera and some feed in a different area of the property. 
When hunting big woods deer like this, it's crucial to know the land and to learn the patterns and movements of the deer. Laying out some feed and a game camera is a great way to determine what different bucks are living in the area. Deer hunting is a year-round business for Phil. Along with outfitting, he produces a line of deer feed, minerals, and food plot seeds. He's found a winning formula that not only produces some great bucks for his hunters, but benefits the health of the deer population as well. In the afternoon, the winds changed again, so Paul hopped in the truck and headed out to his stand. The young buck moved off, and shortly after, a doe and fawn made their way through the woods. They would be the last of Paul's numerous encounters that afternoon, but the mature bucks had eluded him once again. After a week of hard hunting and plenty of deer encounters, Paul never did get a chance at one of the big bucks roaming the area. Sometimes that's just the way hunting goes. With the hunting season closing in that area, Paul was forced to head home with hopes of one day returning for some redemption. Meanwhile, an old giant had reappeared on camera in the Beasley's home area, so with a couple of weeks to go in their season, they took to the woods, hoping for a late season miracle. All right, we, uh, it's mid-afternoon, beautiful late December day. 
and uh, we've tucked ourselves in nicely here. The blind's covered in snow. We've had it up for a long time, but we haven't hunted this spot yet. We've been waiting to see if this big buck would settle in here late in the winter, and he has. So we're in here for our first night to give him a try. This is the bedding area. Late in the year, we're kind of pushing our luck. So the field at our back, and just snuck into the edge, and they're in and out of here in daylight, but he's not coming out to the food on the other side till dark. So we've had to make a move on him. So we're set up nice and tight. Blind's covered, wind's right tonight. Just. Just hope, hope tonight's the night that this big guy slips up. Oh dear. There's a fawn coming in now on the left. Oh, there's the big guy. Big guy over shoulder. I just had one of the most incredible deer of my life walk out of my life, maybe forever, I don't know. The fawn actually busted us first and ran, and the big guy just turned and went with him. Wow. The three Beasley brothers hunted hard all week in the frigid late December weather, but the old buck's pattern changed and he wasn't showing up on any of their cameras, so the guys were worried he had moved off for good. But the does and young bucks were still up and moving through the week, so the guys kept at it, holding out hope that their target buck would return. Hunting this buck has been near impossible since they first got him on camera over three years ago. He seemed to move only at night. Judging from the pictures, they believe he was around six and a half years old when they first got him on camera, based on his body shape and neck size. As you can see from a couple of his sheds from over the years, his antler size has been decreasing, meaning he's older and his health is diminishing. So the stakes are higher than ever, as the guys may not have many more years to chase this old buck.
I can't see him, but I'm gonna take him. I got his vitals, and he knows something's up. I think he can see our breath. There he goes, folks. Oh, that, that is a quest. I, I don't have any other word for it. That is hundreds and hundreds of hours of scouting, and the second time in years that we've seen that deer in daylight, the second time, and he knew we were here. It took him 45 minutes to move 20 yards. He could see our breath lifting up in here and he kept walking on. So I know that I didn't have the same angle as the camera and the camera couldn't see his head and I try not to do that, but he locked on, he kept moving his front foot, looking at us, giving us that stomp, the little one, and, and I finally just had to take him. I, I can't feel my fingers right now. What a hunt, what a hunt, because it's not about today. This is about years and time with my brothers and my dad and my kids. Oh, folks, what a moment, what a moment, what a deer. Well, it's been uh, been three hours. Got all the boys here, dad, Kev, Paul. Got the lights, and uh, it's time to go find them. So we got to regroup here, get in the other side of the timber, and uh, go take a look. All right, boys. We got hair and good blood there, and it's spraying all out here. Good spray right there, Keith. Oh yeah. Keith, there he is right there, buddy. Where? Congratulations. Oh my right gosh, there. look at this old warrior. <laughs> oh my <goodness>. Congratulations. <laughs> look at that deer. Finally. Finally we get our size, hands on him. The size of that guy. Well, folks, oh, meet GM. He's been the general manager of this problem for a long, 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 long time. Yes, he wow. has. In three years, at least over a thousand pitchers, oh, yeah, and sure. only two or three in daylight ever. Yeah, he, okay. he's been one of the deer that we photographed the most, but it's all but a dark. Yeah, awesome. and and we've never laid eyes on him until this year when he winded me ten days ago, and then he disappeared in our whole area here for three days, and we kept at him, and he showed back up today. Well, you better be careful uh, grabbing those hands. I know. I know. It was a year ago, last year. Six days ago. Six days ago that he dropped. He dropped. He dropped. Yeah. And yeah. we have it. So those might be ready to come off. Be well, careful. This is humbling, guys. <laughs> this is humbling. What do you think, Dad? I'm impressed, Keith. I'm really impressed. He's a beautiful buck. You guys have waited a long time for this chance. Oh, uh, yeah. Everybody's very understanding of this passion. It does consume us in a good way. We, we, we love to hunt, and uh, this is so much more than a hunt. So let's get them tagged up, let's get them home, and let's enjoy this incredible, incredible well, Congratulations. Man. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thank you. Love you. Appreciate you. Wouldn't rather do it with anybody else in the world, guys. Thank you. Sir, October fast. Excited, buddy. Well, folks, that is what they call a winter full of meat right there. That sausage is at one of the finest butcher shops around, and it's all about the animal and the food for us and the time spent with family. We're small town boys that are very proud of our communities, very proud of our hunting heritage, and very proud to be providing for our families and our kids. That's what this deer is gonna do for us. Not only was it an amazing memory for me as a hunter to go get them with my brothers and my dad, but now to take it full circle and take this stuff home to feed my family is a special moment. So if you haven't had the chance to hunt big mature whitetails in Ontario, you've gotta do it. I'm your host, Keith Beasley from Canada Rough. Remember to enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our page and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.